Hi everyone, it's Amy with Renewing Stitches. This is a YouTube channel about cross stitch and I'm glad you're here. Glad you are, um, I thank you for spending your time with me. Uh, time is often short <laughs> and you have to watch in spurts, I get that, but I am thankful you are here. Uh, thank you for commenting, liking, subscribing, all the things. Um, welcome back to my returning friends and welcome if you're new friends. Um, I just am glad you're here. I hope you enjoy what um, what I've got. <laughs> this is uh, not going to be a regular um, floss tube. You, it's it's a regular one, I guess, annually for for most floss tubers. But um, this would be my first parade of whips. So this is my Easter parade of whips. It is also going to have a couple new starts because they are currently whips now. So. You will get to see everything that I have available to stitch on. And um, I am coming in at 29. I think that was my count. Um, so I have a stack. I do want to show you, uh, first of all, the last video. Um, Sally uh, from Flossy Sews and Gross had commented on my, um, uh oh, my, um, coffee pot that sits there, or teapot, the brewing receptacle of water <laughs> uh, that usually sits right there. I asked if she could, have asked if I could uh, show it up close. So I pulled it down. This is from Stitching Mommy, Sarah Stitching Mommy, and it's called Brutiful, B-R-E-W-T-I-F-U-L, and it is on... Um, I think it's 28 or 32 count. This was a print. This is a printed fabric from Hobby Lobby. They don't have it anymore. They were getting rid of it. Um, I want to say a couple years ago because this was in 20, 2022. Yeah. Um, and I picked up what they had. So um, I did this and I'm saving the rest of it for any that might come in a later part of this series. I asked Sarah a few, uh, last week, two weeks ago, if there were going to be any more because I'm saving the fabric and she said there are some, there's more in the series but they're not charted yet and she's busy and I get it and I'm not worried. I just wanted to keep the fabric back. Um, anyway, the, the daisies are printed. Everything else is uh, stitched. So the only thing I changed was um, I, there were more of these highlighted spots and I took a few of those off, but you can see, and you can kind of see the daisies through. I see it now, but it's it's pretty sunny. It's yeah, it's pretty sunny. We had rain uh, from about one o'clock this morning to about one o'clock this afternoon. It ended up being maybe an inch and a half, two inches. It was a good rain, um, but now it's sunny and beautiful and a great day to to film a floss too. So um, I. Uh, I think I've already said this. If I haven't, I'll just repeat myself because I've done this a couple of times before. Um, and then something happens and I had to stop the video. But I'm filming this on Monday because I have appointments tomorrow. Nothing. I mean, just hair appointment and a couple of errands to run. So um, anyway, so we're doing it on the Monday. But it'll be posted on Tuesday, the normal schedule. So everything's good. Um, and so is that. <laughs> I'll put that back up later. Okay, so I have 29 in the Whip Parade. I'll start with the three new starts. Um, first, let's take a drink. All right, and I will try to... I've written down everything that I can remember as far as hashtags and who I'm stitching with um, in the sales and or who is hosting the sal and who is... Who I'll um, have with it, and then all of the fabric counts and names of the fabric where I have them. I think I have everything basically. But if you, if I didn't say anything and you have a question about it, just send me a note in the comments. Just give me a note in the comments, and I'll I'll answer. I'll reply because I love visiting with y'all in the comments. So the first one I have on top is. Part of, um, so this is Beth, Steadfast Stitcher, 
and uh, friends. It is the um, Wings of Change Sal, and it's stitching anything. It was first day of spring start, stitching anything that had a uh, butterfly, a moth, or a dragonfly. So I had uh, mentioned in my last one that I was going to do, well, several, I guess, previous floss tubes. I was going to do a hoop with several butterflies, um, as many as I can fit. <laughs> I'm hoping to get 24, but there may be less depending on the size. Anyway, I am stitching it in the hoop just for reference, and I have all the fabric hanging out, so you'll have to pardon all that, but I took the first one was the this butterfly here. This is from Barry Victorian. It's a Leisure Arts um, leaflet from 87, 1987, and I did this one. And on this big hoop, there it is. <laughs> so tiny. So the second one is from Alexa Designs Butterfly Fantasy. And it's from Masterpiece Publications, 1980. And I picked out, okay, so it is, there's a purple butterfly, excuse me, right, right, right here, right in there. And there's not a, um, there we go. There's not a, this is the only color picture with them all, other than the chart, there, and the chart's not color, but it's it that's the closest I can get for you so the purple butterfly right there and that's this one so it's gonna go this way and then I've got this one here um, like that it was a little pretty maybe like four colors this one was one two three four as well but, and I wasn't expecting the, this one to be big or anything. I just wanted to start. <laughs> and then this one is next. I think the hardest par problem, the hardest part, is going to be which ones to pick next. Which one to pick next. So this one was hard to pick. And I've got several leaflets and booklets that have just a bunch of butterflies and some of them are cartoony some of them are lifelike like this one um look see this this yellow one right here that one's pretty the monarchs are beautiful that one's pretty i mean they're all pretty and i'm trying to get them all in different directions so they're not all going this way or that way you know, or just flat so i will probably try to put like a, a flat up and down like one in the middle and then have like right here and then have all these other ones around. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe. But for now, this is the one I'm on. <laughs> all right. That was one of the new starts. The next new start is from Twin Peak Primitives. It is Elizabeth Bennett. Jane Austen. Uh, several are stitching this. Um, this is a freebie from their website. And um, I pulled it out. Oh, I pulled it out because I want to stitch this when I'm watching um, those floss tubers who have this. And I didn't do it in a black. I did it in DMC 351 on a piece of he stitched me I lost the tag fabric <laughs> it's a blue he stitched me fabric and I've got is that right yeah I've got um the head outlined and I'm gonna start on that I don't know that I'm gonna do the entire thing I'm I'm, I'm gonna that's it's my Texas. I'm, I don't know that I'm going to do the entire dress. I may just do, um, and I've drawn a line. I don't know if you can see right here. I may just do this part and put it in a hoop finish, or maybe just a a, uh, a frame. But I, I think I'm going to get rid of all that. 
and do just the top part. I'm looking for something. Yeah. Just the top part. So this is where it is. You can see the outline. And actually that's what I was gonna do. So either a pillow or a hoop, and this is the fabric I have with it. So I pulled out, this is from a fat quarter from um, Hobby Lobby from I don't know when, recently though, but I pulled out this pinky flower color and I don't have the DMC with me, but it's a 351. So the thought is a hoop with this on the back or a pillow with this on the back and on either side, maybe a, a square rounded square frame. I don't know. I've got some time. So that will be good. And I'll have it as good travel stitching or uh, doctor stitching or um, any stitching that requires me not to count a lot because it'll be good fill in. All right, and then the next new start is on Vintage Country Mocha. It is Rosina Dissery 1820. And I originally wanted to do this on that blue fabric, but it wasn't big enough to have all of this. I would have had to cut the sides here off and it wouldn't have worked because the lettering is one over one. So, stitching it over two on a 32 count vintage country mocha. You know, the butterfly, I didn't tell you, the butterfly, this is 18 count, just white Ada. And I'm doing it just two over one. And then the Elizabeth Bennett is a 28 count be stitch me and this is a 32 count vintage country mocha and I did a bottom bottom start on this one because the top is also a one over one situation so this is the bottom right here right there there we go, right there. This is one over one. The letter, this is one over one, one over one, um, possibly. But this is two, <laughs> two over one. So I thought that's, I needed some good non one over one to start with. So. And this is the, um, I loved the history on this one. This is from Works by ABC. This is, um, Rosina was a, in the New York African Free School in 1820. And this great information. Um, I love it. Love, love, love it. It'll be pretty, pretty cool. Okay, so those are my three new starts. So let's wet the whistle again and get going on regulars. So y'all haven't seen this for me anyway. I'm sure you've seen it, um, but I this is one of the ones that hasn't been out in quite a while. Um, at least. June, so six, seven, eight, no, oh, six, seven, eight, nine, nine months, maybe ten. This is Quick Stitch, um, a stitch in time by Moonlight. This is part of the stitching shelf. Um, if you're new, I print in black and white. I have a color printer, but it's few and far between that I use it, and the ink usually dries up. So I print print in black and white. Um, that's just how, how I roll, I guess. But it's pretty detailed. 
<laughs> and I am not very far. I am in the corner in the DMC black. It's 310. That's where I am. Oh, wait, I did get a green in there. So, and I'm, I thought, I'm going to put this on top and I'm going to put it in a hoop and I'm going to work on it as soon as I get done here. So, here I am. This is on 28 count. And I'm doing two over one half stitch. And that's one, two, maybe three, four hundred stitches. So it definitely needs to see some attention. And so I'm going to do that this evening. Okay. And then we have the bathers. As um, I've said before, I'm... My goal is to have several, I need eight of them done by um, end of April so I can gift them to the other uh, homeschool moms. We have a co-op of eight families and we are studying Monet and Soro, Soro, and oh, I can't remember who the third one is off the top of my head. I don't think he's a well-known one, but anyway, this was the first one. This was from, this is a Sunday afternoon from Soro. And this is from a book that I got off of Amazon. Mini Masterpieces. They're also on Etsy. If you, um, it's called the Stitch Patterns on Etsy. And it's just minis, mini art, mini art pieces. So the next one, that was the, this was the finish. This is not the one I'm working on. I'm working on the bathers. This is the actual art piece that we studied last week at co-op. From Soro. It was, he painted it in 1884. Mm, so pretty. So pretty. And this is the stitched small. That's what it'll look like. And this is where I'm at right now. So I've got some water and then towel and shorts and a hat and grass. And that'll be done. So not long. These are 40, 40 by 40. Well, less than that. Actually, 35 by 30. This one is 35 by 30. Not very big at all. I had forgotten to take my little hoop off of that one. I don't need to lose that. Okay. 18 count white data. I'm going to get some little frames from Hobby Lobby or Amazon or wherever I can find them. Big lots. Um, maybe Walmart. I don't know. But the point, the idea is to finish them in the tiny frames. Okay. This is also one that I want to pick back up soon. Uh oh. Worked on this one last week. I picked it up for the first time in a while last week. And then I worked on it some this past week as well. This is um, Laszlo Code 1 from Stitches So Beautiful. Again, um, black and white. But it's pretty purples and blues and stuff. Um, it's really pretty. Uh, Laura Stitching by the Shore is stitching this one. She's way far ahead of me. <laughs> Which is fine. It's not a competition. And it, it's really actually motivating is what it is. Okay. Here I am. So last, yes, last time I had um, one of the colors filled in, but there were some holes. This is complete up here with the, uh, the second color of purple. And then I filled in the pink parts. The sun's going to start coming in here. You know, like a page is going to be about that big. 
and I can't remember how many pages there are to this one. Not many. Um, for full coverage, I guess. But anyway, that's where I am. It'll be pretty purpley. Very motivating. I see hers and I think, oh, pull it out, Amy. Pull it out. Work on it. Get some stitches in. <laughs> All right. Next is Autumn Lane. Um, Autumn Town by Autumn Lane. Laszlo Cote is also 28 count, two over one. I'll get the flow here shortly. This one is a 32 count, two over two on a fabric that I dyed. All the full, the full coverages are on um, just a white even weave. Um, Autumn Town is a 32 count even weave. I did it in a green Brit dye. And I haven't done anything since the last time you saw it. But it's color block, so it should go really, really good. I need to, we all, you know, <laughs> I just need to do it. So, bottom lane. I mean, it would be nice to have it done before the fall. That might be doable. I don't know that I'm going to do goals. This is just a, a um, let's bring them all out and parade them around. My husband was asking, he's like, well, what, what, co what constitutes a parade? Said, well, more than one, I guess. It would be, if it's just one whip, it's like a, I don't know. A whip stand or a whip mosey? I don't know. The next one is uh, Catherine's Little Sampler from uh, from the Heart Needle Art. Needle Art by Wendy. And I'm stitching this on... It's a 14 count wool of my grandmother's. She had it, I'm thinking it was for a skirt, um, but it is quite thick. It's um, quite thick, but it's, I mean, it's a 14 count size, so. Let's see if you can see the, the dark. I may go back and do extra, do another length on the top leg to make the pink stand out a little bit more. But in person, it's really, really lovely. You can see the brown real good in the green, but on camera, it's well, maybe like that. There's uh, green here and green around the little fruit. So. That one was part of my Whip Go starts from this last month, and I saw where she just posted April's Whip Go pulls, and I haven't looked to see. One of them was 18, maybe the other one was 24. I can't remember. Um, but I haven't looked to see what was on my, my Whip Go. All right, this one has changed since you've seen it. I watched... Um, Sally from Flossie Sews and Grows. I usually stitch mine when I'm watching her. She, we started together with several other friends and um, this is Lost in Stitches Designs Winter Snow. And I'm doing it on 25 count steel blue Lagana. Um, one over one. Full cross. So last time, since you've seen it last time, I filled in the windows and put on the roof and the door and the chimney. And that's all. I had the house out. I had the house done, but I had the windows to do and the roof wasn't there. So when I pick this up again, I will, the thread that's on my needle is the smoke. So I'll work on that and then I'll Finish it around, do the cardinal. It's a night time. I think this was on, what was it stitched on? Mm, 
Hmm. It doesn't say. Well, it's black and white anyway, so <laughs> you probably wouldn't be able to see the color fabric anyway because it's black and white. Sorry, it's silly me. <laughs> oh, fun times. Okay. It's been a while since I did work on this one this last week as well. Um, but it's been a while since I've showed you any progress on this one. This is from the um, Cross Stitch and Country Crafts, January, February of 1982. And I'm sorry, 1992. And I'm stitching. So it's this pattern right here that it's you know, quadrupled for the pillow, but I'm just doing one and I'm going to finish it as a strawberry. You see that? And this is on a mm, 14 count that I dyed pink, like a dark pink. And there it is. Used uh, DMC Blanc or white and I've also uh oh I gotta pull that thread out sorry about that um I've also used I found a satin that I'm using it called for hmm oh it called for something <sighs> and it didn't not, oh, pearl cotton. That's what it is. We called for pearl cotton. And I really didn't want to buy a big ball because that's all I could find available. So I just bought the satin to give it. I'm going to do the, so there's some French knots in here. I'm going to try to do them in the satin. It's not the easiest to work with. It's very, um, it's hard to anchor. Real pretty, but hard to anchor. So. I just have to go out this way and then it'll be ready for the strawberry. Well, I've got some things to do, but <laughs> it'll be ready. Okay, it's called Annabella's Lace. No, Annabelle. Annabelle's Lace. There's no uh at the end, no extra A. Uh, 14 count Ada. Okay. Then have a beach quaker from Georgia girl I'm really excited about finishing this one and starting the lighthouse one that she's doing and I haven't checked to see if it's ready yet if she's listed it yet but this is on a 14 count ice blue Ada from Hobby Lobby Okay, so here, that's the closest craft store we have. Um, Stitch Niche is in Arlington, and that's about a two, maybe two and a half hour drive, depending on traffic. Um, so Hobby Lobby is close. Joann's and Michael's are maybe 45 minutes away. And I uh, yeah, try not to order a lot online, but so this is it. And it's pretty, pretty, pretty. I just need to fill in here all this blue green and then finish here and then start on the other side. Mm. I love Quakers. Quaker, Quaker, Quaker. Okay, 29 minutes. All right, next one is Shores of Hawkrind Hollow. My little sticky off. I started this when Nancy the Disorderly Stitcher started her sow. It her sow is um, Shores H R H sow. Um, and I'll try to remember to I'll everything with hashtags and lost tubers will be linked below. So I'm working on block number ten, which is this one right here. And it's on 40 count uh, straw. Is that right? Yes, 40 count straw linen. Two over, I'm sorry, one over two. 
and that's it. Now, you may be saying, Amy, that does not look like green. And I thought I saw green on block 10. Well, you are correct. You are correct. This is a green. And I, it is 8.30, DMC 8.30 is the call for DMC. And I, in my excitement to start it, started it in 161. And so it's a blue green and I'm not sad about it. Not at all. So I have to fill in, there's a bright green that goes here and another uh, fruit of some sort that hangs here and then it just mirrors on the other side. I'm going to, Take out this stitch. I'm going to leave the space there though. Stitch the uh, boat in a bottle and this bottom part and then finish it in a pillow. I'm going to do most of these in pillows. I'm not doing every one of them, but most of them will be separate pillows. And so for this one, I will just find some um, rope to put in the middle. But I, I'm not, I, I like the, what did Bob Ross call them? A happy accident or something like that. Happy little trees, but accidents, happy accidents. All right. Next is the USA Quaker flag from Vibsters. Vibsters. Several, several, several floss tubers are stitching this one. Several floss tube watchers. Many. Floss tube watchers are stitching this as well. Mine is on 25 count Lugana Vintage Country Mocha. And I haven't done anything on it since I showed you last, but here it is. Um, I haven't changed colors or anything. Going to out, this is a blue Quaker. Just, it's a, a blue one. And then the red and white stripes start. So my thought is to outline and outline several of the squares, diamonds, and then do one white and one red and then come back and do a blue because these are full coverage. And then do another white and another red and come back and do another blue. So, Vintage Country Mocha, this is um, pretty large. I mean, it's... Pretty big. <laughs> okay. And morning doves. <sighs> Crosswing collection. This is part of my whip go as well. Mm. I'm going to stitch the doves and a little bit of the surrounding, but it will be in a hoop. Is a hoop finish to be. And here I am. The dove still has no eye, but I need to get that eye in there. What's this one right here? So, got its body done, well, outlined, and then I just need the tail and fill it all in. Try to speed it up a little bit. <laughs> okay, next one is from my Big Toe Designs. It is Quaker Rejoice. Morning Doves is on 14 count vintage blue. Um, Ada. My Big Toe. Um, Quaker Rejoice is on 28 count Peony Lugana from Be Stitch Me. And this is going to be a monochromatic using a crew. And last time I showed you, I was kind of flip-flopping about keeping it because I wasn't sure the crew was showing up. But that's what I see in the camera in real life. It is, It shows up lovely. So I'm going to keep going, keep chugging. Doing two over one. No, I'm sorry, two over two. 
Yes. So, this is the pattern. I'm going to get rid of these two and probably that and scoosh the Quakers up here. This is the day. It says, I'm sorry, I don't know if I, I didn't, I haven't read any of that. I don't remember if anything is printed on any of those. It says, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. The song we used to sing. The song the boys and I used to sing. Um, okay. This is the Heritage Sampler from Plum Street. And this is on 40 count um, country mocha Newcastle linen. Mm. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I can start the flower. So nice. Two, um, one over two. Yes, one over two on forty count. You know, I don't think I've tried two over two on forty count. I don't guess it would be any different than. I mean, it'll be smaller than twenty-two, like a hard anger. I've got several that are hard anger. Okay. Next one is the Little Peacock from Kitty and Me. I worked on this earlier this week because I watched Mel from Patchy Pony. I like to stitch on the peacock when I'm watching her. And this is a freebie from Kitty and Me Designs. Um, this is a 16 count scrap of something. That I, uh, it's just, it's, a uh, it's an Ada, 16 count Ada, but I can't remember the color that I dyed it. There we go. So, I finished the bottom. I had, um, I had just a, a little bit of the bottom color, not this blue right here. There was a, a little darker shade right underneath. And then I got to the back stitching, back stitched all the way up. Yes, all the way up and then started back stitching. The body so it's not gonna take two videos it's probably gonna take three more videos <laughs> I kept looking up I saw her ponies I saw her stitching her finishes oh you need to go watch her <sighs> so funny all right that was page one okay do this one next. This is from Nomis Designs. I do this in the piano lessons um, time, so the boys are not around. And it's just a bunch of helmets. So I've done this one for my oldest. Still have not backstitched. I'm sorry, this is my youngest. Still have not backstitched. I need to work on that. And here's where I am on the oldest. The uh, helmet is charted for black um, in the magazine, in the book, but they have a, a one that's like a darker yellow. So I just found a darker yellow and, and did that. So it's the alternative helmet. So I need a back, well, once I get it done, backstitch, backstitch the name here. And then start on my husband's, which is, I don't think it's here either. Yes, right here. <laughs> House divided, y'all. And mine is not pictured. That's okay. And I just, I really like the Oilers one, the old Houston Oilers. So... This was printed 
1987, and they just um, had the expansion teams of mm, the Panthers, Carolina Panthers, and the Jaguars, Jacksonville Jaguars. So it's been a while. So that's fun. That that's just on a 14 count white white Ada. And I will probably finish, I thought about, well, I wanted to do it like a Christmas ornament with them. But then I thought, well, maybe I'll just, um, maybe I'll just frame it. I don't know. I'm not there yet. Okay. This one is called Now Abide Sampler by Carla Richards. It's from the May-June of 1987 just cross stitch magazine and that's the picture of it and I'm stitching it on 28 count Jobelin call from be stitch me called not another sampler hmm. I need to stop starting <laughs> and get to working on my whips so it's a little, it's a little creamier than it's showing, I guess like that. Yeah. Yeah. This is also two over, mm, two over two. Yeah. Um, okay. This is the Battle Hymn of the Republic from Little House Needleworks. And it's also on a 28 count Jobelin from Besitch Me, but this one is called Honey. Two over two. There we go. Yeah. I have of. <laughs> And we got 42. Okay, not bad. This is uh, called Christ's Love. It's from Stony Creek. I'm stitching this with uh, my in-person stitching group. They are working on um, the one that it's the face of Jesus. Uh, Vonna Pfeiffer did it. Um, Katie Carney did it. Uh, several have done it, but I picked this one. And this is being stitched on um, 20 count vintage country mocha with DMC 3863, one over one. Ow, did you hear that? <laughs> My shoulder popped. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I couldn't help it, so not sorry, I guess. It's popping and cracking. All right. This is Summer Quaker from Lila Studios. And I started this when Beth and Steadfast Stitcher and Laura from Stitching by the Shore started their sow um, called... Uh, Summer by the Shore, I believe. Is that right? This is on a 28 count Cashel Linen from Picture This Plus in the colorway prank. And I was looking for the sunset vibe. I will not be stitching the sun. I will probably do the clouds. Um, but everything else is the same. Not sure if I'm going to do the mermaid or not. Because it is the sunset -y vibe, I've had to sub some color. So these little white or 8, 822 or whatever is called for. It's, I mean, it's not called for. It's the uh, color that is, um, that blends into the fabric too much is called for. So I subbed in a white for it. This is one over one. Yeah, 
that's a good one right there. Kind of a little more red than that, so that's kind of orangey, but you get the you get the gist. This one is so fun. No. I get it. When people go through their whips, it's like, oh, I need to get back to that. Oh, I love that. I haven't um, gotten to the point where I want to um, UFO any, um, but if I do, then that's fine. I'm not, it's, it's fine. It may not be the time for it. And I may not enjoy the pattern anymore, but I'm not going to give myself a hard time about UFOing. So don't you give yourself a hard time either if you feel like you need to UFO something. All right, the next one is um, Forever and Ever, Cottage Garden Sampling. This is number one in the Songbird series. I started this close to the beginning of my floss tube beginning, and um, I, uh, it was a short, like, last-minute type sal. <laughs> like, I gave, I think, two weeks' notice, um, but it's still open. Um it's, do you, hashtag, do you want to stitch a songbird? So any songbird, actually any bird, um, all birds have a song, even if it's a squawk or a hoot. So, but if you have the, any of the songbirds in the series, you're welcome to stitch. I, um, I, uh, haven't stitched on this in a while. I mean, it's been quite a few weeks, so I need to get back to this. Stitching it on a um, 20 count light blue even weave, one over one. There we go. So he's done um, going up leaves, or I can go over and do the female cardinal or the rose. So this will be a hoop finish as well up there somewhere. Um, I need some more hoop space, don't I? <laughs> yes. The answer is yes. Shake your head yes. Yes, yes. All right. Next one is Heartstring Samplery. It is well. And I stitched on this um, yesterday with the... Uh, the uh, ladies with Stitching with Sandy um, Zoom group, and um, it's like, I really want to finish this so I can start on the next one. We sang um, Come Be Thou My Vision yesterday at church, and oh, because this is part of a series. This is her Sunday, Sunday Stitches. She did several hymns, and this is my husband's favorite hymn, and um, I don't have a favorite. I, I love a lot of them, but we are. So I got the urn finished and with my soul and started up the flower stem. Get that flower done. This will crank out super fast. This is a 14 count that I dyed. Um, I think it was like caramel and a dash of pink because it has some pink in it. Mm. Yeah, kind of right here, there's pink. So it is well. And another one I need to get back to. This I was saving this for my snow stitch, and there's no chance we're getting snow <laughs> until next year, January. Um, this is Winter Rose Manor. I'm doing the pin key or the pin cushion. Um, because my piece of fabric wasn't big enough for the big sampler, but I have one now that is big enough. But I need to finish this. So I got it started and then it snowed and I, well, it snowed, <laughs> it snowed and then it melted, but there were, there were flurries, so it counted. So I got, um, what 
let's see here, right here. So I'm up here, I need, I started on the, yes, start on the lacy top part. This is a, what is this, 28 count, um, be stitch me Lugana, I don't remember the name, the card is gone, but using call for DMC, no, it doesn't call for DMCs, I, that's right, I converted it to DMC, and I'm, for the most part I'm happy with it, I probably would have picked a different color for the the iron itself, but I think once the flowers and the bird are there, it'll be fine. And I have some fabric that'll be pretty with it. I'll just finish it in a round pillow. So, that one ceases to be a snow stitch and is now a anytime I want to stitch stitch. Alright. Next one is, I have a few left, <clears throat> Crochetta Go Go Winter Sampler. And again, Beth made me do it, Beth and Laura. <laughs> you know, you girls. This is a um, 32 count vintage country mocha. Move this to the back. Please hold. All right. Doing it one over one on 32. And it's tiny. Look at that. It's going to be so cute. So I've got the corner done. Working down the side. Um, and then I'll put the tree in. And try to get a start on this house. So that'll be a ways away. I do not, I'm not necessarily a seasonal stitcher. I mean, I can stitch winter in the middle of summer. I can stitch summer in the middle of winter. Holidays, sort of. Yeah, I kind of am a seasonal holiday stitcher. Like the rabbits were done. I'm kind of thinking about spring. Um, Christmas usually is around Thanksgiving. Um, and then... So I'm sort of a little bit seasonal, but not a lot. Okay. The next one is from the premiere issue of Cross Country Stitching. This one, we did a flip through of this at the very hmm, one or two, the first or second flip through. This is called The Stitcher's Prayer. That's the one I'm working on. Says, Lord, may each stitch be wrought with grace to bring the honor, love, and praise. Amen. It's going to look a little different. I'm kind of debating about the netting. I don't know. But I stitch, I've been stitching on this at night. Um, you know, one or two threads a night. So it is, oh, this is from 1988. This is a 14 count that I dyed. And the last time you saw it, I don't think I had this done. I I may have. I may have shown y'all since the last time. I haven't picked it up in a few days, so very well. Could be. But I'm not too sure about the netting here on each side. I may bring some little something here. I, I'm not sure yet. I may just leave it blank. that one. See, renewing stitches. I enjoy the older things. <laughs> I am not shy about the newer things either. I'm all over the place. But I really, the, oh, I was going through some magazines last night. I just want to stitch a lot of the stuff that's out there, that's been out there for a while. This one is picture, I'm sorry, this one is Twin Peak Primitives. Uh, so, uh, stitch your soul journey and thy soul with need, uh, needle and thread and this is an 18 count oatmeal I'm 
all the colors. I'm doing this two over one. So really I just need to get that flower in and some leaves and then I can start going down. Okay, and then the last one is Long Dog Sampler. Uh, fish and chips and this is on an 18 count white Ada. I'm using a blend of 37.55 and 8.25 for the blue and then the green in here is 164 and here we are. I haven't picked this up in a while either. My green's hanging out. This is so fun. Yeah. So that is it. Almost an hour in Wowza. That's everything. Um yeah. <laughs> I'm getting warm. But that's okay. I don't mind it. It's part of I'm part of life. Hmm part of life. So let's see. That is all plans. So tomorrow I've got a couple of things to do, but I'll be stitching uh, tomorrow night. And tonight I have I really need to get the um, bathers done so I can start on the next one. I have a list of uh, one, two, three, four, five, six more that I need to get done. So I'm going to do that. I have a flip through coming up. We're going to flip through the Country Stitch Monthly. It's a premier issue from 1988. Very cute things in here. And I think that's it. I've got to look at my whip go. I've got a couple new starts planned, but um, one y'all won't be able to see till later. And I really need to do some finishing. So that is it. Um, <laughs> that is it. I hope y'all have a lovely day. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about um, any of the pieces that I have. If I forgot to mention something. Um, I have a pile to go through now and put back together. Oh, the hoop will be back up. So my thought on this is to, whenever I finish a butterfly, I'll just have it sitting there finished, partially finished, finished for now. Until I figure out what the next butterfly will be. And I think that's all. I think I think 2930 is a good number. I'm I'm pretty pretty good with it. I don't know that I'll look for more. Maybe. <laughs> I mean there's always always something I want to start, but I think I'm good. I, I've got several that I can finish up pretty soon. And so maybe maybe I'll do that and then do some more starts later. Eh, just whatever. <laughs> so, leave me a comment. Let me know what you're working on. I hope this was a good, good long video for you to stitch, get some good progress in. Um, and if uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you are um, if you are wanting to start something, <laughs> I just said I didn't want to start anything. Well, I didn't say that actually. Those words do not come out of my mouth. But I wouldn't mind starting another thing. <laughs> I, I'm not in any hurry, but we'll see. It's fun. It's good. Good. Good for the soul. It is. So I'll go. I'll stop rambling. Y'all have a good week, and I'll see you next, next week, and see you in the comments.